Welcome back guys. In this video I'll be showing you how to draw uh, E-Lithium. For you to be able to draw E-Lithium's uh, E-Lithium, there are some important information that you need to know. One, you need to know the thickness of the wall. The wall is typically 150 millimeters. You will also need to, well, uh, the ring beam or belting is typically 300, it's typically 300 high by 150 wide or 150 by 300. The width basically in most, well, in all cases, it matches the width of the wall. So if it's a case where the wall is 200 millimeters, the weight would be 200 millimeters as well but the height is basically standard we you, you will also need to know, need to show the steel work or the ring beam here we have the ring beam and uh, the ring beam has it has six half inch corrugated steels steel bar well, it's offset by 25 millimeters. That is also important to note. In some cases, they might ask you to show the hurricane strap. So this part here is the hurricane strap. And the hurricane strap looks something like this. It's a twisted piece of metal that is used to fasten the rafters to the wall plate. You will also need to establish an overhang. Uh, this has no overhang, but you will need to establish the overhang as well. The overhang is the distance the roof protrudes beyond the wall. That's the overhang. In most cases, the overhang is given, but if the overhang is not given, we typically use 450 millimeters. Of course, so the rafter is the main part of main component of the roof. You will also need to be given the, the rafter. Uh, in some cases, you're given the angle at which the rafter is pitched. If you're not given the angle, you would could typically use the standard angle of 30 degrees. You'll also need to know that the, the, the size for rafter. Rafters are typically 150 wide by 50 thick. Soffit. You may need to may ask at the soffit or not. The soffit is the horizontal piece of board which covers the lower section of the rafters here. So this prevents insects, birds, rats from going from gaining access to the ceiling per se or to the joists to the rafters. So this basically covers or conceal all the framework up inside the roof here. It is important to note that for open eave roof, we do not use any soffit. This is open. So the soffit is not there. That's only applicable for open eave. Next is our fascia board. The fascia board is a piece of board that covers the edges of the rafter. It is typically underneath the roofing material. It covers the edge of the rafters. And uh, the, the, the fascia board dimension ranges from 225 millimeters to 25 millimeters thick. Of course, this varies depending on the question. So those are, oh, also the 
roofing the other uh, the roofing material above the rafters we typically have again depending on the type of roof if it's a typical shingle roof you would have ply board or board which would cover the rafters so that is typically half inch above that we have the underlay the underlay again is used depending on the type of roof if it's a zinc roof you would not use underlay all right the underlay is pretty much a dark tar like material that is that is used to cover the roof that prevents maestro from going through the roof last and no means least is the roofing material the roofing material could be zinc shingle tile you name it that must be shown as well very important now let us get into the drawing of the roof the eve detail I will be explain even though this is a sketch and this comes under sketch and design if you're drawing this in AutoCAD you could apply this technique so the first thing I'll do is to draw the wall and if you're using AutoCAD you would type REC by the way you do not use AutoCAD to do sketch sketch should be done using your pencil and your manual effort please make note so in AutoCAD, I would use the type REC, start point, create a rectangle. Or for a sketch, I would draw that, draw two lines, or rectangle. Next, draw the wall plate. The wall plate is typically 100 millimeters by 75 or 80. So this is... 100 by 80 or 75. If you, you enjoy, you draw this here, choose here as a base point, drop it right here. That's the wall plate. Next, we can draw the ring beam or the belting, and that is 150 by 300. You you would then offset this, offset this by 25 to get the stirrup. Or for sketch purposes, we would start drawing that here. We would go here. Then we would sketch a parallel line here. And of course, you would add your six steel bars. Next is our rafter. If you're drawing this in AutoCAD, you would draw a line somewhere, line start point, random length, tab key to change the angle. You would then change this to enter 30 degrees to get this line. So draw this at some place on the drawing. Then left click, drag, and place it here. So this should cut a little bit into the drawing. All right. Once you have done that, you offset this by the distance, the, the thickness, the height for the rafter. Typically, this is 150 millimeters. Once you offset this, you would trim this part right here. The next thing is to generate our offset. The offset is the distance the rafter protrudes beyond the wall. In AutoCAD, you would turn on this command, Arthur, from the status bar, 
then you click line L, left click here, out, up. So this distance should be 45, then you go straight up, up above this, then click. Then you trim off all of that. If you're sketching this, you would estimate the distance for that. Once you have done this, you draw a line parallel, which would be equivalent to the ply board. Our next step would be to add our fascia board. So again, you draw the fascia board someplace here. You could draw the fascia board here. Then copy, paste it in the drawing right there. Now, if this is an open eave, you will leave the section as is. This is not an open eave. You probably could draw a rectangle, REC, for 450 by 25. Or if you're drawing this using freehand, you just draw that like that. Copy and paste it in there. Once you have done that, the next step is to add your roofing material. So you would sketch, or in some cases, you simply put on a layer for it. If you're using Arca architecture, you would use a particular feature which could help you to get to generate the roofing material. Now that you have done this, the next step is to use the appropriate hatch patterns to clean this up. And for, for wall, for a ring beam, we would need to representation for concrete. This is timber. Oh, by the way, I need to add this can be either joist or wall plate, the horizontal part for it. I would add my grain for the timber right here. Could add that as well for that. This is the wall plate for that. And this is the soffit. And of course, you'd add the same labeling here soffit, wall, ceiling joist or ring beam, ceiling joist or wall plate, rafter, roof material. And all of that good stuff yeah so that's basically how you sketch oh we could add our hurricane strap and in some cases they might ask you to include some additional fastening device you might want to show like the J bolt oh. that would be hurricane strap you could also show the in detail for the um, the J bolt, All right? So this is your Eve detail. Be on the lookout for it. They might just send it back this year on CSEC.